Hey guys, Micah from Black Bear Custom Kydex coming to you with another video of the sheaths that I've done for Tim from Everyday Tactical Vids. Um, this is all part of just batch one. We're probably going to do another small batch um, coming up here in the near future, but I'm handing off the knives that I've already worked on for him, handing them off tomorrow morning. So I just wanted to make sure I got some videos of everything and uh, put them up on my channel. So stay tuned and definitely check out Everyday Tactical Vids, not only for the upcoming video he'll be doing in my work, but also because he's got countless videos, uh, all of them great, of tons of different gear reviews, and they've been immensely helpful me, for me selecting the gear that's best for me and giving me insight into a whole bunch of things I never would have thought of. So check him out, Tim from Everyday Tactical Vids, awesome channel, awesome guy. All right, here we go. So... This is a Benchmade Jungle Clip Point. I think that's the, the official name of the knife here. Um, the lighting is a little bit wonky, so the, the orange is showing up way brighter than it actually is. Maybe I can... Yeah, that's not really helping any. Well, in any event, it's, uh, it's definitely more of a true hunter's orange. It doesn't quite look so much like something you'd pull off a tree in Florida. But um, anyway, so this is the sheath that we settled on. We decided that we wanted to do black basket weave for the main sheath and orange rattler for all the attachments. Um, just quickly going over the attachments, uh, he wanted this one to be a cross draw system with a tech lock and one of the features I'll show you right now actually is I left, not really a feature I guess, but I left this section a little bit larger and so you can tell it's not symmetrical with the other side. So this section back here is the tab that I would drill out and hook a leather dangler to. And I wanted to leave it like that because it is a pretty large knife and it's a pretty heavy system. And, you know, a dangler just might be a preferred method. So after, after trying out the cross draw, maybe he'll decide in the future that he wants to convert it to a dangler. I just wanted to leave that option open. So, all right. Let's get into the attachments. We have we have a Surefire. I'm not sure what the model is, but Surefire flashlight. All right, and one of the cool features of this is that as long as you keep the flats on the lens portion of it, flats straight up away from the uh, away from the sheath, you get a good Kydex click going in. I mean, it's a, it's a small click, but it definitely clicks in and it's pretty easy to pull out. Right. We also have a Lansky LCDO2 tactical sharpening rod. So this guy here, you unscrew the cap, extendable rod there, or retractable, whatever you want to call it. And we've got the ceramic blades on this end to sharpen. The other thing on the front we have is a mini Altoids tin, and I have stripped the paint off of it. So I was going to repaint it. Actually, I did repaint it, uh, just black spray paint over it, but the paint was thick enough to change the retention on it. And instead of messing with this piece here, I decided just to strip the paint and go with that. So, all right. And this actually is pretty cool. It's got a Kydex click of its own going back in. And you can probably see I've stamped my logo in. Yeah, maybe you can't see. Well, in any event, the details there looks really nice, I promise. And on the back here, we have a Coughlin's Fire Steel. Again, I make my Fire Steel holders a bit snug because as you use them, it's going to reduce the size and you'll need... Uh, the shock cord to hold it in later but for now nice and snug and I actually found shock cord that was orange and black it doesn't it's not a perfect match for the uh, for the orange but I figured it was pretty cool so uh oh um, I think I had showed you all the attachments all that and uh, I did a seamless liner on this one as well obviously in uh, the, I think they just call it Hunter's Orange. 
In fact, you know, I might have actually just used a piece of the tan rattler because I don't, I don't think I had the orange in stock at that point. But in any event, that's what I've got for this one. The uh, the retention on it is great. Again, this is a rubber handle, some type of some type of rubber. It's rubber. It's pretty rigid, but uh, the click is going to be just a little bit muted because of that. But you can definitely still hear it. Got a great draw. And the only complaint I have about this Kydex, I really love how the black basket weave looks, and it's actually pretty easy to work with compared to some of the other Kydexes. But the inside, instead of being a nice flat polished edge like normal Kydex, uh, this inner edge has almost like a like a linen texture or something to it. So every time you Every time your your knife or your handle comes in and out, it leaves just a tiny, tiny bit of Kydex dust on it. So I don't know if you can see, like that black right there, it's just dust. It can be wiped off. Um, so it's a little bit weird, but maybe that just goes away after time. I haven't I haven't drawn it enough times to know for sure. But in any event, that's that. And uh, the last thing on it was a little paracord knife lanyard. Uh, Tim wanted to add some of those Spartan helmet bead things to it. So, um, so I ordered some and I tied a snake knot with black paracord and orange micro cord inlay on there and threaded this helmet on there. Now the helmet was actually like twice the size that I thought it was going to be, so I only put one of the two that came with it on there, and I'll just, I'll just give him the other one to do with what he wants. But anyway, I thought that came out really nice. Good look at this for you. So, all right, stay tuned. I'll show you the next video in this series, or maybe this is the last one you're watching, and I still don't know if I'm splicing them all together. So bear with me here. I might be talking gibberish. Um, <clears throat> but let me know what you think of this thing. I was super happy. This is probably my favorite of the knives that I did for him, or favorite of the she's rather. And, uh, all right, guys, stay tuned for the next video. I'll be posting again very soon. And, uh, thanks for tuning in. If you haven't already checked out Tim from Everyday Tactical Vids, please go check out his channel. Subscribe, like, comment on videos, share them, spread the love. Tim is a great guy, and uh, his videos are awesome. Really great gear review. Tons of different things, and they've been immensely helpful in uh, my search for various pieces of gear and, and whatnot. So shout out again. Thank you so much, Tim, for uh, giving me the opportunity to work on some of your knives. I had a blast doing this, and I hope to partner with you again in the near future on some other projects. So, all right, guys. Thank you. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Take care.